All right, welcome everyone to the detailed manual exchange guide demonstration. We're essentially going to be showing how you can get trades and transactions that you have on various cryptocurrency exchanges that may not yet be supported by CryptoTrader.tax into the system. You can see here we're on step two, import trades under the manual exchange templates, and this is where you'll upload that manual exchange file once you've filled it out. Now, CryptoTrader.tax offers two separate way, two separate templates to get these trades in, right? You can either use the simple format or the detailed format. The detailed format is typically better if your exchange is giving you a file that details out all the fees that it charged you per trade, and if they're not netted out into those trades already. So we can simply just follow the steps that CryptoTrader.tax lays out in the help guide, but in this video, we're gonna actually walk through an example. So step one, we're gonna make a copy of this manual exchange guide. And you can see, we'll make a copy in Google Sheets. And it comes auto-filled, demonstrating how it's meant to be filled out. So you know we don't need any of this, we can just delete them. Um, and then once we have this, obviously we need to go to our cryptocurrency exchange or platform that we need the transaction history from and download the trade history or CSV file that the exchange should have a way of giving you that. And here you can see we've downloaded one from OceanX and it's just this raw file and we're gonna map all of these trades over into the manual exchange template. And so then we can import this directly into the app. So quickly, let's demonstrate what this means so we can wrap our head around this. So as, as we explain in this help guide, we exchange each um, various field that's needed in terms of these trade types, base currency, base amount, quote currency, et cetera. We'll walk through what this means with a true example. So here the trading pair is this bat vet, okay? And what this means essentially is we're buying bat and the trade is quoted in VET. Okay, so we're buying bet, BAT by selling VET and we're receiving you know, this amount of BAT. So in this example, BAT is the base currency and VET is the quote currency. So what, we do, what we're doing is we're buying 44.3 VET. It's quoted at 34.58 VET per BAT to get a total of this amount of VET is what we're trading away. So you can see if this checks out, right, by just doing, you know, the amount of bat that we received or that we're buying multiplied by the quoted price per bat, which will give you this total 1531.894. So again, we're buying this 44.3 bat, we're selling 1531 vet to get it. And then the exchange is actually charging us this 0 0.0443 fee in bat that we received um, and because you know 34 times 44 gives us this we can see that the exchange isn't actually applying the fee to this total it's just giving it to us in raw data here so the actual amount of bat that we receive is actually this 44.3 minus the fee of 443 bat okay so this is the amount of bat that we actually received in our account right because the exchange wants its cut as well. So that's just the nuts and bolts example of how this trade type works. And now that we have our handle on that, we can easily map this over to the CryptoTrader.tax detailed manual exchange format. So of course the exchange is simply OceanX. The trade type is a buy, as we saw. We're, remember, we're buying BAT. The base currency, remember again, was BAT. The base amount is this 44.3. Even though that's not the total that we receive, we'll account for the fee later. Again, quoted in VET, the quote amount was this 1500 value. Paste that in. Again, the fee currency as detailed by the exchange, the fee was in BAT, and the fee amount was this 0 0.0443. So let's type that in. Point. 0443 bat okay so there we go we've filled it out the last thing obviously we have to do is copy and paste the timestamp over and make sure we have that in UTC time okay 
And so it's as simple as that. Let's go through one more. And so you can see this, this simply becomes a matter of copy pasting. So you don't have to do all this math, right? I just wanted to show you how it works, but it's simply, you know, you're copy pasting this filled column into, um, you know, the base amount or whatever it is, and you're just copy pasting this stuff over. Now let's go through another example here, this sell transaction, okay? So in this one, we are selling the base currency, DBET, Five, five, over 5,000 of it, and we're receiving VET. Now again, the trade is quoted in VET. So we're selling 5,000 some DBET to receive 1,832 VET, okay? Again, doing this math, we can see that we're selling this quoted in VET per DBET to land at this total amount of VET that we received. We're selling DBET, we're receiving VET, and again, they're charging us a fee on the VET. So the total amount of VET that we receive isn't actually that much, it's actually that much minus the fee, minus this 1.832124. And so that's what we actually receive from the exchange. Now again, I'm just doing this math to show you how it works, but again, when you copy paste everything into this, CryptoTrader.tax will automatically handle this fee calculation for you. So again, we are going to do Ocean X. This time it's a sell transaction. The base currency was DBET, as we said. The base amount, again, we sold that much DBET. A quote currency, I believe it was VET. The quote amount is the amount of VET that we received for selling this DBET. Right there. Remember the fee currency was in VET. Remember, so what we received. So we received that 1832, but there was a fee applied in VET. And I put this in the wrong spot. Here we go. And this actually is the fee currency, which we know is VET. The fee amount was 1.832124 VET. So remember, we're selling base currency DBET, 5132 of it, and we're receiving 1832.124 minus 1.832124 VET on this transaction. Then we simply copy paste the UTC timestamp over and voila, we have successfully filled out the template. Now, as you can see in the guide, the next step, once it's all filled out, is just to download it as a CSV file and import it right into CryptoTrader.tax. So that's how you'd go about filling out the template. Again, if you maybe have a trade history file from exchange that doesn't detail all of this fee information, it could be simpler to go the other route and use the simple manual exchange format rather than the detailed one. But we offer two options for you. We have videos on both, so check them out and be sure to let us know if you have any questions.